Welcome back to another Lincoln Tech Tip. Today we're going to talk about shocks. And you've heard us talk all these different shock terms. Uh, compression, rebound, single adjustable, double adjustable. What does it all mean? Well, we're going to go back to basics today, just so we're all on the same page. Now a shock, at its essence, is really just a device that turns kinetic energy into heat energy that can be dissipated. So it uses that to control the motions of a car under different driving conditions. There are two forces that work on a shock. Uh, because it works in a linear motion. Compression is the motion going inward. Rebound is the opposite force when it is extended. So a single adjustable shock controls compression and rebound with a single knob. It usually affects the rebound curve more than the compression curve because that generally has a greater effect on the way a car handles. A dual adjustable shock like this has a rebound and compression knob separate and it controls those two forces independently. The dual adjustable shocks are really good for things like drag cars. If you want to take a street car to the track and really make it launch, what you would do is you would come down, lower that rear compression to let the car squat, go up on that rear rebound to keep it down, and you go to the front end, you lower the rebound. That would allow the front end to come up, really let that weight transfer happen. The car will squat, hook hard, go down the track. So now that everyone's got a basic education on shocks and shock technology, let's get back to the shop. Lincoln Tech can teach you how to have a career working with cars. See lincolntech.edu.